Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Please subscribe my channel. Bold and beautiful recap for Wednesday, December 5, 2018. Taylor pleads with Brooke. Stuffy is concerned about the clash between Brooke and Taylor, and Eric reassures Quinn. In the Forrester Creations office, Hope informs Stuffy that she is sorry, but she has to let her mother know what Taylor is capable of. Stuffy scoffed at the idea that Brooke would keep this secret. Hope reminds Stuffy that Taylor is talking to her and her mother, something in her broke in and now her rage is gone. Stuffy asked Brooke where, and Hope replied, maybe anywhere Taylor. They try unsuccessfully to reach mom and Stuffy berates Hope not to think of this through, now Brooke has the ammunition she needs to get rid of Taylor for good. More, Tracy Melchior and Soap News at the cliff, Brooke rages at Taylor by taking his wallet and trying to look inside to get a gun. Taylor snatches it when Brooke rants about her shooting Bill in the back and lets Ridge go to jail for it. Taylor sank down on the sofa and cried all she believed was a lie, she was more shocked at what she did than Brooke. Brooke said she never thought she was a shooter, Taylor confessed to Brooke. Taylor realized that anyone could do anything, she was ashamed of herself. That's not me. She mourned. Taylor thought Brooke knew this was true. They argue whether Bill is taking advantage of Steffi. Taylor claims he has to face and comment that he is really weak, she just means bringing him down with words, but not a word passed between them. Taylor recaps shooting and sobbing. Brooke frowned. They discussed whether Brooke should have turned Taylor. Taylor claims she is not a danger and asks Brooke to consider what will happen to her daughter. Brooke gets her anger with Bill, but this is trying to kill people. Taylor can heal with his daughter and niece and begs Brooke to keep quiet. She fell to Brooke's feet and cried please, Brooke. My freedom is in your hands. At the reception of Forrester Creations, Quinn fishing at Donna and Pam, who frowned at a stapler. Quinn joins Eric in the design office and remarks that she does not know whether Donna has the secretarial skills or not. The Quinn Eric kiss that's her talent for Honey Bear Pam compassing for her. Eric advised his wife not to take Pam's plan seriously or keep it against Donna, who knew he was a happy married man. Quinn admired him. Meanwhile, Pam remarks to Donna that Leslie, model Eric's cloak, is on the way. Talk to Leslie about late. Quinn suggested modeling for him. They kissed, and Eric chased her off before undressing. Quinn comes out and walks over to Pam's desk, where she is talking to Leslie, who has a flat tire. Pam disconnected, got an idea, and started repairing Donna's hair. Later, Donna protested as Pam told Eric that Donna should fill in for Leslie, but Eric agreed. Pam chortles that it cannot be the first time Donna took his clothes out for money and escaped. The suit proceeds and Donna appears in the dress. Eric states, beautiful, 